You are now listening to Tough Tiger Talk Flash Report. You're now rocking with Tough Tiger Talk on the PRO Media Network. Shout out to the Tough Tiger Talk family. We up in this thing. I'm Big Q. Chiming in with another Flash Report on Tough Tiger Talk. And guess what, fam? Guess what? Mr. Daniels is back. Tiger Nation applaud as LSU star QB. Jay Daniels returns to the squad for 2023. You got to think that Jaden is looking at it with Coach Kelly and saying, we got unfinished business. What does this mean to the rest of the crop of QBs that we got coming in? We'll just be loaded in that room, right? Anyway, let's get into this article, man, that's provided by CBS Sports. LSU star QB Jaden Daniels announces his return for the 2023 season after helping the Tigers win the SCC West. So the floor, the, the floor has been set. And it's time for the Tigers to build on it. And all the only thing that uh, Coach Kelly had to do was win it. He did that. He beat Alabama in his first year and sets his sights on a lot higher things in the second year. Boy, but what I, I, just, I just can't wait. When we knew he came in, we knew he was going to bring his winning ways. And the biggest challenge was winning early. And he did that. So we still got one game left against Purdue to get 10 wins. And he's really big on that. Daniels was returned for his red shirt season with the Tigers after transferring from Arizona State. This is one of the biggest transfer portal moves that LSU did last year, getting the starting quarterback. And he he was everything. It only we can only imagine what Jaden Daniels would have looked like if he was 100 percent healthy against Georgia. If he was 100 percent healthy, but would have could have should have right family. LSU starting quarterback Jaden Daniels plans to return to Baton Rouge in the 2023 for his senior season. He announced Thursday after transferring from Arizona State, where he played three years. He helped guide the Tigers to the SEC West title in his first season. And this is what he said. Louisiana has accepted me as their own. And there's nothing like Saturday night lights or Saturday nights in Tiger Stadium. He wrote in his Twitter post, we accomplished a lot this year and exceeded many people's expectations, even though we came up short. Some of our goals has been an amazing ride. And honestly, I'm not ready to get off yet. So there you go. So they at nine and four, the Tigers set to face Purdue and the Citrus Bowl on January the second. And Daniels is expected to play in the game after dealing with injuries that knocked him out much of the second half of the loss to the Georgia and SC championship game on December the third. So you can see his tweet right there. He battled injuries and had a major impact uh, with the Tigers. Now, this was just a wonderful year, man. And we still have a game left. I said, and battle he battled injuries through the season, but proved to be. A headache for opposing defenses, both his legs and his arms, after an up and down three seasons at Arizona State during back to back wins in October against Florida. No Miss Daniels totaled 11 touchdowns. The next week, he added three more in the 32 to 31 upset of Alabama that proved critical in helping the Tigers win the SEC West. And in all, Daniels passed for 2,774 yards with 16 touchdowns, throwing just three picks while also rushing for over 1,800, I mean, 800 yards and had 11 touchdowns. So 18, 16 touchdowns throwing against three picks and 11 touchdowns on the ground. Big impact for Jaden Daniels. The only quarterback to run for more yards this season in college football is John Rice of uh, Dry Rice Plumley at UCF. Daniels made the Tigers multidimensional dimensional in coaches Kelly's first season, and his return will help keep LSU in the mix for another division crown. While other SC quarterbacks such as Alabama Bryce Young, Tennessee's Hay- Hayden Hooker, Georgia Stetton, uh, Bennett either out of elig- eligibility or likely moving on to the draft. Danes will enter the 23 season with a shot to be an all conference player. Now, this is the thing while his return is good news for the program, it also delays the starting timeline for guys like Garrett Nussmeyer. With his coming back, thus, do we see Garrett Nussmeyer and some of the other quarterbacks behind him, like Walk by Walker Howard? Do we see those guys hit the transfer portal? That's something we'll have to wait and see. So Nussmeyer stepped in. He completed 15 to 27 passes for 294 yards and a pair of touchdowns. The performance was an encouraging glimpse of what the future could hold for the LSU at the quarterback. Nussmeyer was just a registered freshman this year. If he chooses to stay, he will still have two years of eligibility after the 23 season with Daniels out of eligibility. The Tigers also have a former four-star quarterback prospect in Walker Howard. A true freshman of the past season in this era of mass transferring, keep both Nussmeyer and Howard as backups next season could be tough for LSU. So it'll be up to Coach Kelly to kind of get that going and kind of, you know, 
kind of educate those guys on what needs to happen here. So it'll be interesting, but if anybody can do something with it, as um, Coach Kelly will have to <laughs> give them the game. So anyway, that's the good news that I have to drop on the family members for this episode of Tough Tiger Talk that Jaden Daniels says, I'm coming back, baby. I'm not ready to get off the ride yet. So shout out to Jaden Daniels, man, for coming back. Uh, it does make our running back room look a little different with Daniel say, Daniel saying he's staying, but let me get you guys' comments on that. What do you think about that uh, Jaden Daniels says he's electing to return to LSU for this upcoming season? Put it in the comment section. Also, tell me what you guys think about Nussmeyer and Walker. Do they hit the transfer portal and go and uh, say, nah, I ain't going to wait. I'm going to go somewhere else. What you think about that? Let me know in the comments section. Shout out to the fam. Appreciate y'all, man. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Also, feel free to share Tough Tiger Talk on your social media feed. We up in this thing. Much love to y'all. And we'll holler at you on the flip side. Go Tigers.